Hey there, creative people. My name is Bloomzai. I'm an indie game developer, writer, and designer. And here's how I use A Sprite, After Effects, and Adobe Illustrator to make and animate my logo. Thanks for coming, and let's get started. So while you're watching this video, at this point, or during the recording of this video, it was about almost two months in with learning Plex art. Um, I discovered game development in May, or got curious about it in May, and in June I went head first, and I haven't stopped then. And in the following September, I finished and published my first indie game, Bubble Bumble, where we play as Kiwi the Bee, who needs help getting home while collecting flowers and avoiding the birds, free on itch.io. So this video is just me trying to understand A Sprite, the um, pixel art animation program I'm in. I'm like going back and forth with the documentation and tutorials. And I finally figured out like how to do the animation after many, many tutorials. So this is me trying to understand how the framing and the timing would work, if how I want my eyeball to look, how it can blink. Um, and I came up with this initial design through some watercolors in my sketchbook. I was just doodling and seeing what looks nice. And I love flowers. I, wear, I wore flowers in my first um, devlog video with myself, with my face in it. And I don't do my face a lot. I don't plan to because that's just more work for me to do. Um, so video editing is just with my eyes. So I'm trying to figure out like what's a really fun and interesting logo and kind of like calling card mascot that I can come up with. I landed on this blinking eye. I'm not really sure why, but you know, it just seemed to fit with me. It was very whimsical, very fun to do. And this is me trying to figure out like the shading and how like to get that blinking eye effect. And I'm really happy with how it turned out so far. Like I said, this is my first couple months in A Sprite. My workflow is completely different. Instead of having multiple, so as you can see, I'm animating in a lot of layers, a lot of frames, a lot of frames anyway, but a lot of layers because I figured I'll keep all the layers separate in case I need to edit something in, a, in another layer. My new workflow is I would create all of these layers, duplicate it, then flatten the duplication, and do all my animation on a flattened layer. Now that gives us pros and cons, such as if it's flat, you have to redo everything. If it's like this, I'm doing in a video, then it's easier to edit something separately. But you know, I'm still working through my own workflow, it works for me, but so far, the way I have the eye blinking is really cool, really fun, and I just like how it looks. Funny enough, while making this artwork, I did not realize that I could use the mirror tool to instantly replicate the other side. So, that was fun. At this point, I'm now in Adobe After Effects with, to finish up my logo animation. I have exported all the frames into images and have dropped them here. I'm only doing it this way, or I only did it this way because I was still very new to A Sprite. I didn't understand animation, which looking at this now, I realize it was so much easier, but you know, hindsight 2020 or 22 in this case. And I turned it into a GIF, GIF, Jiffy, Jeff, however you want to call it, I'm calling it GIF. Um, and for me to export that GIF properly and to make it really look nice and clean, I use a plugin called GIF Gun. It, is, it isn't free, it's paid, um, but I liked it a lot when I was using After Effects regularly, so I use it for this project. Now, I'm still trying to figure out my timing, my rendering, my exporting in After Effects. So it's kind of like, may, might be a little bit wonky or choppy, but I'm actually pretty happy with what I got now. And I was able to do a lot of customization in After Effects I really enjoyed. And in a second, I'm going to show you how I mixed in my typography that I made in Adobe Illustrator. So as you can see with my Adobe Illustrator um, artboards, is at the top are the vectorized flat designs, towards the bottom are the pixel art designs, and the typography is also kind of the same across the board. I did it this way because I've been I've been using Adobe products for since my college years, so almost five years and I'm really familiar with their work for that with that workflow. I decided to keep my typography in the vector flat style instead of pixel art because I wasn't used to making pixel art text let alone art in itself so I wanted to keep keep it really simple for myself and I wanted to combine the pixel art eyes with the typography because I liked how it kind of combined my traditional art style of vectors and also my new discovered game dev pixel art. 
And to wrap it all up, I made a quick variation of the logo with just one eye blinking, just for fun. And there you have it, the start of something new, my first game dev logo that I made in Ace Fright, After Effects, and Adobe Illustrator. I think I did pretty well, what do you think? If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching my videos as I'm stumbling through and learning how to be a game developer from the ground up. If you enjoyed these videos and you want to see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with the games, stories, and characters that I'm creating. And before I forget, you can check out the early access and first looks of the game, stories, and characters I'm creating on my Buy Me Coffee page. More about that in my description below. Alright, see you later creatives.